Learning how gametes are formed can be a confusing process. Many of your students are probably visual and tactile learners. Let me introduce you to a meiosis kit that will make this exciting genetic concept come to life in your classroom. Everything you need is here. There are no consumables. The kit can be used over and over again or shared with other teachers in your science department. Teacher demonstration manipulatives consist of four sets of homologous chromosomes. A fifth set is used to demonstrate crossing over. Each set of chromosomes is distinguished by size and also by color. Chromosomes are made of a lightweight foam material which is brightly colored and adheres to your, your whiteboard or blackboard using magnets. All the chromosomes can be moved around and manipulated on the board quite easily. Each color set contains six chromosomes. There is a maternal chromosome, a paternal chromosome, and four replicated chromatids. Chromosomes of paternal origin have a blue centromere, while maternal have a pink centromere. Alleles in blue are of male origin and pink are of female origin. Uppercase letters are used to indicate dominant alleles and lowercase letters to indicate recessive alleles. The kit's crossover demonstration set has all the features of the other sets, but in addition has removable alleles. The alleles can be removed because they have Velcro on the back and can be reattached. This allows you to show crossing over. Let's do a quick crossover between these two chromatids. We'll cross them over and swap the alleles forming chromatids with both maternal and paternal alleles. The teacher training CD in your kit will provide several examples of how to manipulate the uh, chromosomes during crossover. CD also contains actual classroom screenshots that will help you set up each phase of meiosis. Here we have two sets of chromosomes in um, metaphase one. And I like to even draw in the centromeres, spindle fibers, and the uh, cell wall. Student chromosomes have the same alleles and the same color scheme as the teacher chromosomes. There are 10 sets of chromosomes for a total of 240 pieces. This is enough to allow a classroom of 30 to work in groups of three. The included teacher manual provides a student activity in which students use their chromosomes to answer questions and produce gametes. This activity can also serve as an assessment. Thanks for watching and ask about our other genetic series. These include mitosis, protein synthesis, and genetic transformation.